you know, there's a ton of printers out there on the market. And one of the things that, you know, our group does before purchasing a new printer is really trying to test capabilities. So um, I met, you know, the B9 sales team at a large trade show and I reached out to them to try to get a test print out. And that's the part that you're looking at on the screen. Um, as you can see by the envelope size, it's really small. It's four millimeters by two millimeters by two millimeters. And like Scott said, you know, everything's going to miniaturization and, and getting smaller. Um, so this part is actually representative of the size and features of a complex component that we use in our catheters. You know, honestly, when I reached out to them, I didn't think features would be resolved. And we've tried this in a bunch of other printers, uh, but they turned around and sent this to me within uh, the next day. Um, so if you're looking at the part at the top, there's two 8,000 struts. Um, it came out perfectly vertical. Uh, there's th three holes horizontally along the body. Those are three thou diameter by six thou deep, and those things resolve perfectly. And then the little um, three vertical holes on the bottom left, that's actually sitting on a fin that tapers all the way down to one thou. So it's really amazing to us that the technology now has really evolved so we can get these kind of parts within a few hours or even less. And um, yeah, I'm happy to be here and sh you know share our stories on how additive manufacturing has really affected the way we design and develop.